Hello, Taurus and Cross Watchers Light. This is the February reading for this current year for the sign of Taurus in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts, please. If it resonates with you, cool. If it doesn't, you just boop your nose away. It goes, there's no point in worrying about shit that ain't about you. It ain't none of your damn business, right? Right. Plus, I have no idea what's going on, so put people where they belong. I'm just reading what's going off with whatever. So, oh yeah, if you want a personal read, everything's in the description box below after the music channel listings. Right? Right. Go there. Anyway, Taurus. Interestingly enough, um, I'm gonna name you or someone is a father monkey liar. And I don't know why, it just came to me like someone is a liar. It's like, um boy who cried wolf kind of thing. I don't know where I'm getting that from. But it just came to me. Like, someone is, like, well, someone told me, but still, I don't know who that one is. I wasn't paying attention. But it was like, someone is a liar. Someone cried wolf a little bit too many times. Um, but here's the gist of it, right? In the energy of whoever this is, I don't, I have no the fuck idea who, um, we got the Two of Swords reversed with the Two of Cups. Someone's pretty indecisive about a companionship, a relationship, a partnership. I really don't feel like it's as romantic as it is sentimental. Down below is the Nine of Cups in the situation. Talking about a wish fulfillment gone kind of wrong. Someone's bored with it or someone's tired of it. It has something to do with the work situation. Taurus, you had one of the bonuses and it was like... I can't remember which one it was, group one, group two, but someone hated somebody. <laughs> someone hated somebody at their job, and I'm wondering if that's what this is, but it's like they got a wish, but they didn't mean for it to be granted the way it, it was, or they're bored with the outcome of it now. Yeah, the results were cool, and I got exactly what I wanted, but I want to do something different now. And now they're trying to think of how to work on that. They might have three people, or maybe it's just three people, including them, involved. One of the two, right? The wants and wishes. I feel like there's a lot of chaos with the five of wands, dealing with a queen of wands. Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. She can be combative when she wants to be, and she's got that shit in the back of her head, right? Like, she looks all peaceful. She's all cheery-like. She's got a flower. There's a kitty, but those two lines back there symbolize somebody who's a little bit restless with the five of wands reversed behind her. It's like she will... Um, she's the type of bitch who will not stop if she gets blood on her face. That's the kind of bitch we're talking about. She will also strive to get blood on her face, but she will make sure it's never hers. So she's got that kind of vibe to her right the obstacles and challenges though is like the two of cups reverse right here the separation could easily be manifested if wanted be which you know do you want to break up with somebody who wants blood on their face or do you stay with somebody who likes blood on their face <laughs> like that's the real um question here if you want to deal with that right fears and rejections we got the death card reverse with the wheel of fortune someone doesn't want something to end and i feel like it's time they don't want to run out of time <laughs> and i'm not sure what that means right not yet anyway then we have the two of pentacles in how the shit starts how it'll end when it comes to the options in regards to a secret that's being kept. Energy is feeling defeated with the Seven of Wands reverse. Whoever this is, Taurus and Cross Watchers. Let's see. What is up with the situation? Hmm? Why is there indecision about this Two of Cups? And why does the Two of Cups reverse be manifested? I mean, that's the obstacle and challenge because it seems like it's coming up regardless. A separation of sorts. Uh, 
someone might be trying to give their heart out with the Knight of Cups. Right? Cancer Pisces Scorpio like. Mmm. To a really bitter Empress could be Aries, Taurus, that could be you, and Libra. Someone could be trying to reach your heartstrings right here, and that's what's making you indecisive. It might be um, trying to get to you emotionally, it feels like, too. <clears throat> I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. I feel like that's a trap. Is that the lie? Because, it, it, like, I popped in my head right before I laid down your rest of your cards, because I was letting them sit for a minute. And then it was just like, someone fucking lie. <laughs> Uh, nine of Cups reversed with the Three of Pentacles. Someone got their wish fulfillment and they're bored, so now they want to work on something different. And now they feel stuck in this situation. Maybe that's why they're reaching out to you. But they say really ignorant shit. Or they got a mouth on them. Or they say something that, um... Causes stagnation. Like, they recognize it's it, it was what they said or what they did that um, caused an issue because it was very impulsive. Very immature, it seems like, too. Five of Wands reversed with the Queen of Wands and the Wands and Wishes. A bitch who will fight till there's blood on her face. <laughs> she looks calm, but she's got that anger. Like, mm, she, I mean, she's a cool chick, but she will throw down faster than any man. You know. She ain't got nobody to fight, that's why she's restless. Oh god. So she, this person might have a tendency to be violent. Or they got something. Well, why? Wait, so this bitch is already aggravated, coming off looking all pretty and shit. She's got a violent tendency in her, and she feels like there's no one to fight with it. Like, nobody wants to fight somebody who likes blood on the face. Uh, I don't know who this person is, but it's like, they can be hostile when they want to be, and jump into that really quick. It's like they got a rage. Oh, okay. They, they got their feelings hurt really bad. Mm. I would almost say it's a dark night of soul shit. Like, like, mind you, like, the wands, they're pretty, they're mature. They're more mature than cups. But the cups are the least mature <laughs> folk. Pentacles are top, then swords, and fire, they're water. So it's like, she's grown a little, but she doesn't have the... She doesn't have the tact to deal with her, um... What are y'all trying to say? Like, what is it? What does she not have? Discipline? She doesn't have the discipline. Like, there's something that she's lacking and she doesn't see any value in waiting for. Some result or some shit. That's why she acts the way she does. Down below, this should be manifested, the two cups reversed. It was fated to be that way. You just gotta sit on the pot and wait and see how shit grows, you know? See what gets brought to you, right? The death card reverse. Wheel of Fortune. Someone wants more time? I think they don't want time to move. They're afraid of it, right? Um, there's disaster on the horizon. Oh my god. This person... <laughs> this person is... Jeez, it's like they're waiting. It's like a kid waiting to get punished for something. You know, like the King of Swords doesn't want to go over there because it's just like I just saw Dad get his belt, and I'm uh, I'm not for that shit today. I think I'm gonna run away and join the circus, which would be even worse. But they don't know that. But it's whatever. But yeah. Yeah, this person is just like, you know what, I'd rather delay the inevitable and not know if there's a good outcome to this. Definitely like a kid scared, getting their ass beat for some bullshit. 
How does shit start? Tell the end. Two of Pentacles with the moon. Well, two pentacles was reversed, but shit. That was a lot of cards. All right, well, someone came out fighting and screaming, probably with the switch, to get some clarity. We gotta book y'all. Okay. So, first of all, someone can't get over some issues, right? Which, whatever happened. Possibly you also could be Capricorn or Virgo, Taurus. Um, something was also manifested, possibly, by you in order to deal with this um, Emperor Reverse. Someone probably went into douchebag mode because the King of Swords is out here and he is also Reverse. You know, like. So now. Someone doesn't want to take a leap of faith because they see what's coming, which is not the most desired effects of the heart. Maybe feeling left out in the cold after someone played some games and made them run away for a minute. So they're working on some shit, which is how to figure out what is and is not fair. get delivered to you. It might be an Amazon package. Which would be rad, right? Right. I can pick up these cards. There we go. Yeah, someone's trying to steal away into the fucking night like a bat. And uh, that might not actually be the most justified thing ever. In fact, that might be poor judgment in itself. Um, but what choices they have? They don't know what the fuck to do. And then an idea comes up in their light bulb. Oh, maybe if we keep our shit secret, we can turn our backs and just look like a crazy bitch. What? What the fuck did that even mean? I don't know what that meant. Like, that just came out all weird. That there's a new relationship? Let's see. What's the ending theme? Someone feels defeated. Maybe you'll find a new partnership here as well. Defeated and abandoned like a fucking child. <laughs> uh, you know, where's the love that I came looking for at some point that I really didn't ask about to begin with? You know? I need to put ash on this card because they're sticking so bad. Oh my goodness. Alright, Taurus and Cross Watchers, let's see what else comes up. Shall we? We shall. Well, everything seems like it didn't come into place when it comes to your energy, how you feeling. You know, and like swords are getting thrown right back on you right after you healed from something. This is something that you've dealt with before and it's getting thrown back into your face. It sounds like, like, you know, mm. it's like the person who's writing up this Knight of Cups is like trying to give you condolences for their fuck up. The situation below, yeah, someone will do anything to keep this from happening. But they gotta live with the consequences with that every night. Yeah, so maybe somebody lied on you. Maybe came across against you. Might even be trying to cause you to lose your job of sorts. And they gotta live with the consequences of dealing with that fucking demon. But at the same time, it feel like they also want to kind of want to end things with you peacefully. But that's not gonna get rid of how they're gonna feel because they're still not doing anything to halt what's happening. Like, they might be trying to say that they're helping you, too, but I feel like that's lying. Like, they're just coming over to make sure you don't hate them, which is stupid, because it's kind of, like, their fault. <clears throat> Wants and wishes with this Queen of Wands here. You know. They want to fight. Just straight up want to take everybody out. Just be like, fuck everybody. Hmm. It's 
strange. I'm not sure I understand this Queen of Wands motivation. Like, lack of discipline. Oh, she wanted to fight because she heard some shit. And that made her be like, I don't really give a shit where you go. Like, mm. Like, if this Queen of Wands, like, this Queen of Wands might be fiery, and she might come out fighting, but she's gonna find out information later. But it's not gonna make a difference to her, like, you're walking away, Taurus and Crosswatcher. She's just like, meh, whatever. I'll get over it. Let's see if she gets over it. I'll drop one more. Fuck it, you can have four on this one. Uh, she'll pay a price. very hefty price for it though so it's at least gonna bite her back in the ass at least you get that much obstacles and challenges yeah it's gonna be this operation that comes up for sure you're just gonna have to dump your emotions about about that leave the rest to rot while you go take whatever's necessary for you you can always come back for shit later you're gonna get yourself out of the situation or out of the coal you've been left there or whatever um, but it's to help you avoid the tower movement in the most part you might send news to somebody who might be a drunk bitch or someone will come like nib nosing with some information um, on whether or not like you're not doing very well either one of the two this person mm. Whoever you're dealing with, or if this is you, Taurus, or Crosswatchers, um, I can see where the line comes in now, because it's like... Mm. It's like they led someone to believe that it was okay to be hostile to someone just with their little words, with the kitty cat, right? With the queen of wands. To make them feel like, oh, well, this isn't a loss, but that loss is going to come later when it comes to the penny. Maybe not emotional loss, but definitely like something out of pocket. Taurus, you may have been their good luck charm getting paid, honestly. Or making their job easier. person might come around trying to talk to you see how you're doing like I was saying just being like oh are you okay I brought you this flower but but it's like they just don't want to be hated by you so it's kind of like oh it's you the betrayer you know <laughs> I almost feel like someone's trying to get someone to lose your job just a little bit Fears and rejection, just one time to stand still because, you know, you don't want to see if there's a good outcome or a bad outcome. Or they don't want to see it anyway. Uh, someone can't use Google. Someone isn't, like, doesn't know how to work things properly to know where they're going. Or they can't figure out the situation from where they're standing. You know, the internet isn't going to give them the information they need. They actually need to go to a fucking, um, dwarf or gnome or whatever he is offer something. Could be with a Virgo Capricorn Taurus. That could also be you too. Hmm. Yeah, like this person might expect you or they might want you to give them something so they have some sort of directions to go on. How the shit starts, how it'll end. There might be a delivery of a brand new partnership. Because I really don't feel like any of this is emotional. I mean, there are cups and stuff, but it's, but like I said earlier, it's more, uh, sentimental. Someone's just trying to make excuses because they can't, they, they want to stop dealing with this burden and carrying around. But it's from a greedy position. Or they expect you to um, pay attention to them while you're too busy, like, being greedy about yourself. I feel like, Taurus, if this card in particular is you, I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think you're paying more attention to your own needs than anything else.
Hmm. Well, that's what I got for you, Taurus and Cross Watchers. That's the end. Anyway, so if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. You don't got to if you don't want to, but I would greatly appreciate it. Great, great. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day, and I hope this reading helps you out. Um, love your faces, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.